What is going down, Apex Legends fans? If you're brand new and you're swimming into this new update, my name is Mac here at the MacGyver 7 channel, and today we're going to be covering what has happened with Respawn and Apex Legends. And a lot is going to be a little escape. So if you're brand new, get excited, hit the subscription button, and company with the notification bell, and let's go ahead and scroll into what the news is at 1.83. So, as we get into the content, we can see and scroll into some situations that there is new characters and content that is going to be around for as far as some familiar faces returning. Uh, but past that situation, you're going to see some passives, some tacticals, and some ultimate in the phase breach. Some very cool situations for that map. It looks gorgeous. I'm expecting a lot of good comments down below of the most experienced point of what you have obtained inside of the battlefield. There's probably some new perches, some new freaking spots just to get that KDR up. What are you experiencing? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to show. But moving on past that, there you can see that the Battle Royale map and the rotation, the escape for the update inside of that, now comes down to the portion uh, where you can go to the newer arena. Now the arena also gets some nice overhauls for as far as the encounter. You can see that it comes down to the BR location inside of the escape update. Now newer weapons and the car SMG and the ranked updates they come down to for the series three post. Now where you can see that the battle ranking system comes into the escape, there is a lot of stud for as far as the L and the portion of the TL DR so we can see right over there the differences inside of there the final placements inside of bonuses where you can see that some victims will lose more and some will gain inside of their tiers as you get up a little bit now posting those situation for the points or rewards and the ranked arena escape also comes down to some nice changes but the patch notes is what we're here for for as far as the dev notes inside of Watson, you can see that they've moved a lot inside of the general character for as far as improvement on the legacy update. So moving past that, we have some tactical portions to explain. And you can see right over here that it comes down to a lot of tactical, the ultimate portions of the pylon. Balancing changing coming down to where the weapons and gear are going to be able to drop in the rotations so you can see some stuff for as far as magazine increasements ammo requirements and then you have the hop ups for the dual shells full kitted in the rotation for as far as what you can see the even eight a peacekeeper longbow l star the g7 scout makes the list on top of the supply drop inside of the weapon rates. So you can see a lot of uh, increasements, luckily for this portion, for as far as the early to late game crew. Now, where you can see the, the hot zone comes down to loot rates inside of the crafting, it also gets a nice little boost for l the light ammo going down to shotgun ammo. And arrows and snipers also are included as well. So you can see a nice increasement as it goes down inside of there, down to the enemy NPC update. The health across the game has gone from 90 to 114. So on top of that, for as far as the world's edge of the flyers inside of the King's Canyon, now you can have a rewarded EVO points of 25% and all damage gone to the AI. Uh, Arena comes down to some pretty cool fixes for as far as where you can see supply drops in the rounds one through three. And then you can see down the weapon prices have increased in some of them situation have gone down to just take a look for as far as the corresponding ones from the Moes down to the Helmlock private matches for as far as what the aim assist down to some bug fixes and to API you can have some quality of life fixes hopefully leave a comment down below if you're still being afflicted by some stuff that is out there and you can see for as far as the quality of life also coming into the UI the arena and the awareness on the badges account bug fixes definitely come down to a nice list from more that UI coming down to the situation of the ultimates and the portion of ramped up inside of the rampart and the town takeover and the sound effects not playing. So it's a well-rounded update so far. Honestly, look at see if you were affected by a lot of these side missions. The legends come down to the rampart, Watson, Pathfinder, Fusion, Seer, and the Octane. For as far as improvement 
for what they can fix in these available characters. Besides that, that is going to be all the systems, even uh, down to the uh, PC, which they did come into some issues. Did notice that they had an issue with the aim assist inside of the console and it's being fixed back to normal now. So they are roving around and fixing some stuff. They're proactive. So definitely if you're not already following Respawn, give them a follow or give them a, you know, holler. If you're experiencing some stuff, they're really quick for the turnaround rate and they're very forthright for telling what's going down. Or you can subscribe today absolutely free. House me out as a creator and you'll be getting all the future content that pushes past 1.83. So I will see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and check out some of the f videos that are up above. I definitely suggest the Far Cry one. There's a cool exclusive unboxing that Ubisoft and uh, a poster foundry, a nice little subsidiary between Ubisoft and Far Cry 6 that gave me some cool swag to unbox. So you get update and an unboxing, which is pretty chill. So I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and I will see you there.